are so thankful this year. Well, always, we're yes. always thankful. I thank you for the body of Christ, for Wing Sisters, for those dear ones that you get to do life with, day in and day out, good, the bad, the ugly, who are always there for you. These two beauties are two of my Wing Sisters. <laughs> Uh, I'm thankful for them and my family and my friends and church um, and just the opportunity to come together and yeah, just be together. I think that's the best. Yeah. I'm thankful for this beautiful church community that we get to celebrate the love of Christ and each other and to do life with this great, beautiful friendship. We're so thankful for our family and each other and for our church family here at Calvary. Happy Thanksgiving, Calvary. This year, I'm thankful for my family. My family and I, we are uh, on Communion Sunday, very thankful uh, for the shedding of the blood of Jesus for remission of sin. We're thankful for, We're each, thankful other. for each other. Yeah. I'm thankful for my mom and everything that she's done for us. Um, love you, Mom. I certainly am thankful. I'm thankful for this church for one thing. I'm thankful for our Heavenly Father who takes care of me, watches over me, and protects me. And, uh, and my family is also, they, he's just uh, miraculous. I'm grateful for my, for my church family here in East Mountain Campus. I'm thankful for a great community around me at this church. The family I have that my um, godfather because he helped us very much. He helped us buy a house. Uh, my name's Chet, and I am thankful that God has blessed me to be the earthly father for this little girl right here. Uh, thankful my dad. Ah. I'm grateful for my fiance. Hi, I'm thankful for all my family here and learning about Christ Jesus and having and just learning all this cool stuff, and I can talk to my friends about it. Thank you. I'm grateful for the sunshine this morning. I'm really thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my relationship with God. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my pet, Coda. I'm thankful for the relationships I've made with people through my life. And I can't wait to see what God has in store for me. Hello, I'm John Stockton, and I'm grateful for my family, for our friends, just for what God has done for us in our lives. And it's just been a beautiful thing for moving here up in the East Mountains and, and getting the new campus up here, and we're just so thankful for all of that. Hi, my name is Brenda Pino. I'm thankful for God coming into my life and just restoring my, my soul, leading me from the LGBT community into a family of believers, into the family of Christ. And Amazing. I am thankful for family having the blessing of a warm bed to sleep every night and warm showers. The simple things that we forget. I'm also thankful for my family. Thank you for uh, this church and this country. Thank you for the new le leadership that's coming in. And uh, we're just uh, thankful for the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm thankful for my parents and especially my mom's cooking. <laughs> Hi, this is Mike French, Eli, and Roy Voorhees. Hi, Albuquerque. And we're here donating 53 turkeys to a local food bank in Phoenix to help feed the hungry. We are so thankful for your generosity and the Make More Room campaign that allowed us to get together as a church family and impact our community. Well, I'm thankful for the fact that uh, God healed my pancreatic cancer. Seven years ago, I had pancreatic cancer. God used that experience to draw me closer to Him. I'm thankful for my family and that my husband was cured. Happy Thanksgiving, Calvary. This year, I'm thankful to be a part of this amazing church. This morning, I am so thankful for a very healthy family, and I'm blessed to be here every Sunday. Uh, I'm thankful to God for my life, for blessing me with uh, so many lovely friends, uh, and I wish you all well. Shalom. Hi, I'm thankful for my Connect group because I've been able to meet so many new people. I feel like my family is expanding. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Hey, uh, I have a, I'm curious about this. 
Um, after the service, this is going to be a Thanksgiving banner service. We've been doing this for decades now. One of our favorite services of the year. It's a little chaotic. It's on purpose. It's planned that way. It's intentional. Um, we are doing something different than we normally do, and that is we are highlighting and celebrating and advertising God's goodness to us with the banners. So uh, we'll be doing that in a minute. Then afterwards, we're going to go outside, light a Christmas tree. We're going to have goodies. We have pumpkin pie, pecan pie, and apple pie, and cookies, uh, and things to drink as well. Fire pits out there. It's going to be awesome. But I'm really curious. So show of hands, we're going to vote on this. Best pie is it, first of all, apple pie, raise your hand, of those three, apple pie, okay? There's a healthy amount, pecan pie, wow. Okay, let's, let's see the last one, pumpkin pie. What do you guys think? Is it pumpkin? Did it win? So the, the big, somebody said cherry pie? Well, we don't have, did you bring one? Okay. Do we have enough pumpkin pie to go around? Oh, we do, good. Um, listen, this Thanksgiving service has been around almost as long as this church has been around. It's not my idea, it was my wife's idea when we were first married and came here. Lenny is a YWAMer, she likes to kind of do things in a very demonstrative way, and she loved the idea of putting up what you're thankful for as a family on a banner. So we started doing this before my, our son Nate was born. So uh, it's become a, uh, a favorite of ours just to celebrate this way, celebrate as a community. So, you know, Paul the Apostle said, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. You know, it's, very rarely do you get in the Bible something so explicit that you don't have to wonder, is it the will of God or not? And one of those areas is this area of thanksgiving. You don't have to wonder, should I give thanks for things in life? This is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. In everything, give thanks. Now notice it doesn't say for everything, because sometimes life deals us a tough blow. But the idea is in it, in the midst of it, in spite of it. Uh, when you're suffering, you, you pause and you think and you thank God for his provision for you. One of my favorite psalms in the Old Testament is Psalm 103, where the psalmist says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, let all that is within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all of your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. And then I love this last part. It's if he was anticipating Thanksgiving meal, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle's. Think of all the benefits God has given to you. Forget not all of his benefits. You know, I think at Thanksgiving, and I hope you do this a little bit tomorrow, take a little inventory. Just start making a little bit of list, even if it's in your head, of the ways God has been faithful to you, how he's been good to you. So I can think of things I'm thankful for, just things that come to mind. I'm thankful for common grace. Common grace means... The things like Antoine was mentioning that God gives to every single human being, the ability to enjoy good food, the ability to have a wonderful fragrance come to your nostrils. You go, oh, what is that cooking? That's awesome. Um, the, the ability to enjoy fresh air, just the common benefits that we have in the world. We all enjoy them, Christian and non-Christian, so common grace. Second thing that comes to my mind is Christian grace. The fact that I have been redeemed. The psalmist said, who redeems your life from destruction. 
And I am thankful that, yes, I have common grace, I enjoy a good meal, and I enjoy the sunshine, who doesn't? But more than that, no matter what happens in this life, I'm on my way to heaven because I've been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, a lamb without spot or blemish. So I'm a child of God. I'm in covenant with God. So common grace, Christian grace, another thing that comes to mind is constant grace. That yes, he saved me, but he didn't stop there. Because he saved me, he takes care of me. So I love how Romans the Paul ends chapter 8 when he says, If God did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how shall he not with him freely give us all things? He knows what you need. And he takes care of you as his child, his son or his daughter. So common grace, Christian grace, continual or constant grace, and then finally, I'll add with this, community grace. I love the fact that we're a part of a family. And I love just the sentiments that I heard on the video screen of people thanking God for one another and holding each other up during difficult times, sisters in Christ, brothers in Christ. Uh, the fellowship that we have, it builds us up and keeps us strong. 